As we get out to enjoy summer in Toronto, a new warning from officials. Be careful where you walk. It comes after giant hogweed, a highly invasive and potentially harmful plant, has been found in parts of the Don Valley. Definitely in terms of health concerns, it's at, it's at the top of the list because of the burns it can cause when you come in contact with it. Karen McDonald at the Toronto and Region Conservation Authority referring to giant hogweed, a white flowered plant deemed an invasive species, causing a threat to our environment. It does degrade habitat and lower biodiversity. Hogweed grows really early in the spring and because it grows so large, plants can be up to five meters tall with really big leaves, one and a half meters wide. Um, it outcompetes our native vegetation. We've seen reports of this before, but as people flock to popular trails like the one in the Don Valley, there's a bit more cause for concern. Naturally drawn to river areas, the plant can drop anywhere from 50,000 to 120,000 seeds. The seeds can flow in the water and last for three days, can also carry up to 10 meters in wind. Spreading easily and left unchecked can eventually cause erosion and threaten fish. Metrolink's crews doing maintenance on the Richmond Hill GO Train corridor have seen patches of giant hogweed between E.T. Seton Park and the evergreen brickworks near the tracks and on city land. When we see this particular plant, because it also spreads very readily, uh, you know, we want to do the responsible thing and the safe thing, which is to take steps to actually remove it. Spokesperson Matt Llewellyn tells City News specialized contractors are being brought in. This type of plant can't be burned, it can't be composted, and so uh, herbicide has to be used, a very particular and a strong type of herbicide that needs to be used in this case. Uh, and then obviously there needs to be the appropriate safety, uh, PPE, personal protective equipment. City News asked the City of Toronto what staff are doing about the problem. In a brief statement, a spokesperson says they're looking at the best way to control giant hogweed in the areas reported, and that it's being treated as a public health and safety issue. Meanwhile, McDonald says other plants such as cow parsnip can also cause dermatitis and is urging caution. My best advice is if you don't know a plant, just don't touch it and then you'll you'll be safe. Now to see the specific locations where giant hogweed has been reported, head to our website, citynews.ca. In Toronto, Nick Westall, City News.